Good morning and welcome back to another video. Now today I am going to do something that I have promised to do for 10 months. Yes, so today uh, I am going to do something that I have been promising for a long time. I was looking back over my videos the other week and suddenly realised to myself, I still haven't got it done. I still haven't finished. I'm going to do the roof cab lining. Yes, it is getting done today. So I've got myself a nice, uh, a nice sheet. T5, hello, hello. Um, yeah, sorry, I've got, a, I've got a fitted sheet that I am going to butcher and I'm going to attach to the cab lining today. Let's get on it. Okay, so I've got to the workshop now. Workshop, otherwise known as my mum and dad's. Um, basically, because he's got all the tools that I need to use. Thanks, dad. So anyway, yeah, so this... This is the black sheet that we're going to use. It's just a basically run of the mill bed sheet. I've gone for a lovely microfiber one this time. Nice and lush. Anyway, let's get it unwrapped. The first thing I need to do though is get the plastics off um, the dash, off the surround. It's dead easy to do. I'll spin you about and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so we need to take off these plastics. So there's a screw there. When you lift up these handles, I don't know if you can see too well because it's a bit too dark. There we go. So you've got a screw under that side and a screw under that side. The handle will then pull straight off. That unit then will come away. Obviously, you need to take the door handle off as well. There's two screws under there. There are two screws here, one screw there. The light just pops out and it's got a little, um, a little connecting piece inside there. You just disconnect that and then pretty much mirror it on that side and jobs are good in. So anyway, let's go on with it. All the plastics, well, the plastics that I need are now out. So what I can concentrate on now is just on the underside here. Can you see that metal work there? Well, I've painted the top of it black. So now I can actually get to the underside of it. I'm going to paint that black too. And what we're gonna use for that is this stuff. Frenchique paint and it's called blackjack. It's actually what I've done the dash in So it's actually good for everything. So we'll, uh, we'll get some of that on. We'll let that dry I'll probably take Woody out for a walk Then we can get on with the uh, the recovering happy days Okay, so there's been a bit of a change of plan so I've painted this strut now black. So you'll basically, all you'll see is black from the inside, which is good. The cover, or should I say the cab lining, that's out. That had been sprayed with the um, uh, carpet glue or the glue, I can't remember, well, I can't remember the name of the glue that I've used. <laughs> uh, contact adhesive, I think it was. Um, sprayed a bit at the top, got the sheet ready, Put the sheet on, sheet didn't even want to stick. It's like, all right, all right. Tried it again, put a bit more glue on, still didn't want to stick. All right, fine. So we've gone a bit unconventional here. Go with me and I know people aren't gonna like it, but we've painted it. Yes, we have painted it. I'll come back to you when it's had a second coat, but trust me, it looks all right. All right, so this is where we're at now. It's still a little bit wet, but it's black. I'd say the sheet just did not stick to it at all. But I think it's going to look all right. I, I don't know, I quite like the look of it, actually. I think it looks quite smart. Again, opinions vary, but once it's had a second coat, and to be fair, looking at the screen, it, it doesn't paint it in a great light. I get that, but hey-ho. We'll do a second coat shortly and we'll see how it looks right so we brought this into the garage it actually is weirdly it looks like felt now i don't know if it's because it's still got the glue on it 
but the paint that we've used as well it's it's almost like give it a look of felt it even feels felt like as well because it feels furry it's quite strange anyway we're going to put it back into the van now but I'm, I'm actually pretty pleased with that again this lens makes it look quite horrendous <laughs> but it doesn't actually look too bad anyway i like it <laughs> let's get it back in the van so there we go it's in now granted you probably can't see it because it's black and obviously black things don't show up very well on camera but they are yes it makes it look horrendous but i actually quite like it it's almost got like a bit of a cobweb look to it now as well let me get in the back see if i can't see if i can't change the angle a little bit there we go we'll try that so it don't look so bad it doesn't look so bad it's not quite what we had in mind today for for doing it but the cab lining is done eventually only taken me 10 months anyway we'll wrap it up on this one and i'll see you on the next one bye for now folks Thank you.